Coming off some wicked weather the last couple of days, over the last seven days, uh, some of us uh, up to about 600% above average with the rainfall out there. We saw a lot of flooding across the area. Folks had their basements flooded out, and unfortunately, we may have that opportunity again this week. Now, for most of us today, we should stay dry. But if you're south and west of Yellowstone County, as it stands right now, maybe a better opportunity where not only we could see widely scattered showers, but some isolated severe storms, especially in the lime green area there, including uh, White Sulphur Springs, uh, portions there of Mark County in the Q2 viewing area. I think your biggest concern is going to be some really heavy rainfall possible today as these storms come through. All of us, though, moving forward for the rest of the work week anyway, looks like we're going to be stuck in between this high pressure and this low pressure. They're not really moving much over the next couple of days. That's anticipated anyway. And that means we got a lot of moisture, like a conveyor belt, stuck in the middle there, that southerly flow bringing all that moisture up from the Gulf. So from Tuesday to Friday, for some of us, maybe one to three more inches of rainfall possible, and that could lead to some flooding woes. As you take a look at these seven days, most of us, daily chances of showers and thunderstorms. It looks like Mile City, you may be the odd man out for the next couple of days trying to stay dry, but your big story is trying to hit 90. How about that? Here in Billings, low 80s for most of the week and into the 70s for the weekend. Tuesday through the weekend, every day a chance of rain and maybe some thunderstorms.